Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at link server. Link servers allow you to connect to other database servers and execute queries against multiple data sources. Let's dive right into it. We are going to use the server management studio. Now I have two instances here. I have my prod and I have my DR. So what I'm going to do is to create a link server on my DR. I want a user on my DR to be able to access a database on my prod. So if I expand my DR here under databases, you can see the databases I have here. Right, I have only three. And then under my prod, you can see I have four databases. So I'm going to make sure a user on my DR will be able to access the adventure works even though I don't have the adventure works database here to do that let me create a user so I'll create a login first so under security under the server level I'll right click logins create new login I'll create new login here so my login will be user one authentication I'm not enforce password policy then I'll go to user mapping I'll map it against the database I want so I'll click on OK now once my login is created I'll go to my database which is adventure works so under it I'll expand security and then go to users you can see my user here double click it and then you go to securables here Click on search, click specific objects, click OK. Now, object type, I'll select databases here. Click OK, and I'll browse with database I want. So I'll click browse, and then I'll select adventure works. Click on OK, OK, and then I'll assign a permission. So let's select the select permission. Let's give it the select, this user the select permission only. So I'll click on OK. Now, once it's done, what I need to do next is to go to my DR and then create my link server. So on my DR, what I'll do is to go to server objects here. Expand server objects. You can see link service. If I expand it, I have no link server. So I'll, I'll right click link service new link server now link server so which server am i linking to that is the prod so what we need to do is to type the name of the prod here to do that i'll simply go to my prod and then i'll copy the name here this name i'll copy it and i'll copy it and paste it here so that's it now server type so ask your server if you have other data source you want to connect with you can select so i'll go with ask your server and then you go to security now the security I have local server login to remote server login so login mapping so the user i created on my prod i'm going to map it to a local login here so the local login will be able to use that login the remote login to access the database so here i'll click on add here click on this drop down to see all the login names i have here okay so i'll select let's say this login name maps and then i'll go to remote user then i'll type the name of the user i created on the prod which has access the select permission on the adventure works i'll type in the password now once it's done, what I'll do is to click OK. Now you can see here, the link server has been created, but failed a connection test. Do you want to keep the link server? I'll say yes. Why? Because we are not connected to the login name here. So I'll click on yes, and then I'll connect as the login name, which is Bob. So I'll click new connection. So I have SQL Server Authentication, Login, Bob's. And then I'll put in the password. 
now I'm connected as but what I'll do is to go to my server object the server object link server I will expand it now you can see I have my link server let's see if we have our database so we have adventure works now I want to query this database what I'll do is to click on new query then run execute a select statement select all from now I need to put the name of the instance the name of the instance which is the prod to put it there close the parenthesis and then put dot the name of the database I'll put the name of the database and then dot now I need to follow it with a schema and the name of the table so let's select the table here so I'll say dbo.team.employee so it has a schema and the name of the table so what I can do here is to execute this query to see the content so now you can see even though I don't have adventure works on this instance I've been able to link it to to link another server to this server and the user is able to access it even though the user is not in the other server so this is how link servers work and you can add multiple users and create other link servers if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share see you in the next one